It's easy to take digital pictures, but what's the best way to show them off? A digital frame that can store hundreds of photos is a pretty good option and may be the Father's Day gift you're looking for. Consumer Reports has tested dozens, and tonight we're on your side with results. Santiago Rosas stores his best photos as a slideshow in this simple digital frame. He says it's a lot better than stuffing prints in shoe boxes. While I'm getting water, I might glance over and, and see a, when my wife and I ran a marathon. It just puts a smile on your face. Consumer Reports has tested new digital frames, including three bigger 10-inch frames. Two of these frames can wirelessly accept images from the Internet and your cell phone. And all the frames tested work with most of today's camera's memory cards. Unfortunately, the 10-inch frames had the same picture quality problems that we've seen in the past. With two, unless your pictures are formatted for wide screens, you get black bars on the sides. And on all three, the picture quality falls off when you're viewing from the side. This Philips frame faded the most. The e-stalling did a little better, but still not great. Interestingly, the iPad uses a different screen technology than the digital frames, and that seems to solve the viewing problem. Not that you spend at least $500 on the iPad to use as a digital frame, but it is a nice plus. The 10-inch HP Dream Screen 100 is the best of the bigger frames, but with its internet radio and video features, it costs $200. For much less, testers recommend the 8-inch Digital Spectrum Memory Frame MF801, which costs $70.